Hi everybody, I'm Solomon, the Arkansas Diamond Miner. Uh, as you can tell, I'm not at the Diamond Mine today. Uh, the coronavirus has, uh, we're doing the quarantine, they've shut a lot of the stores and stuff down. They've also shut the park down recently, so uh, I'm not going to be out mining diamonds today. This is the weekend and it's a beautiful day, so I decided to come out. And um, this is a place where I grew up not far from here, and I was told when I was a young child that um, there was once a stagecoach line that came through this piece of property. Um, there's a county road uh, fairly close by. It's, I don't know, in places it's as close as 50 yards to this. So this is, it's kind of funny. There's a big ridge right here that comes down off the mountain behind me. And there's a great big gully that goes along the, the crest of the ridge all the way down which is kind of strange. So I thought, well, maybe there's some truth to this. So um, I've got a metal detector. Uh, sometime back I went to Academy and um, I got one of the Bounty Hunter metal detectors. I'll show you that here in just a second. Um, you know, it's kind of, it's not a real expensive metal detector. It's, it's not real fancy, but it does, you know, what it's supposed to basically. So um, I'll show you what I've got for gear, and then I'm going to get to metal detecting, and I'm going to see if I can find any proof whether or not this was or was not a stagecoach line. So, see you in just a minute. All right, so this is what I'm going to be using today. Um, I use this a couple times, just practicing. Seems to work pretty good. So, I mean, there, there's a lot of metal down here at the base of this little mountain that I'm at. You can see, I, I mean, I'm already on top of stuff and it's just giving me readings all over the place. So I'm going to dig a couple of spots right here. I've, I've already seen a lot of trash laying around. Uh, that it's really old trash, like old uh, bottles, look like Coors bottles from the 70s and stuff. So uh, I'm going to dig a few of these real quick and then uh, I'll start working my way up this hill. All right, so I haven't even dug my first target yet, and I'm looking around on the ground, and I see this. And I thought, well, there's a little piece of metal right there. It's actually a rock. Hmm. That is a fossil of some type. Like I said, I hadn't even dug my first target. There was going to be uh, right over there. So, yeah, I don't know what that is. I'll get it in the sunlight there, but that is pretty neat. If anybody knows what that is, drop me a comment. That is definitely going in my pocket. There's a horseshoe. Hopefully you guys can see it. I had a branch get a hold of my hat and I also figured out that you cannot use uh, the GoPro app on your phone because evidently the Wi-Fi messes with a metal detector. All right, got my next target here. I've dug up a couple of nails, a couple of bullet casings. Trying to kind of conserve the battery on my GoPro there. It's getting kind of low, so let's see if I can dig this real quick. Huh. Shot shell. All right, on to the next target. All right, we kind of come up to a good flat spot up here out of that little gully that washes just right there to my right. And uh, just dug up shotgun shell just a few minutes ago. 
And I've come up to this spot and it's got stuff all over the place. You can see by this old stump, this property has been logged off long, long back. So I'm gonna just start digging some of these targets. That's just ringing up all over the place. Just kinda, if I find a few nails, I'll probably give up on this spot real quick. Yep, square nail with a square head. Pretty good shape too, it's a good sign. All right, well, it kind of makes me want to dig a couple more of these targets. That wasn't even very deep. Let's see if I can find another one. That one wasn't very deep. I've got the sensitivity turned up on my pen pointer. And I can see a head right there. Yeah, several square nails. County Road over there, you can hear somebody driving along. Hmm. So I bet you I'm on a spill of square nails here. Okay, so. All right, got another target here, it's showing his iron. And normally, you know, you're not too worried about iron, but uh, I'm already pretty convinced that this is that stagecoach line. Whatever this is, is a pretty good sized target, or a lot of it, one or the other. I'm gonna go ahead and dig this. I wanna try and find some more horseshoes. Well, it's not going to be a horseshoe. If it was, I already found it. Piece of wire. All right. Got my next target here. And the GoPro is just about dead, so I'm going to dig this, and then I'm going to come back on and show you what I find. All right, not too far in, and I've got rust right there. And I can already tell you what that is. That. 
is a horseshoe. Different kind of horseshoe from the one I found earlier. Pretty good shape. Got some wear on it from the on the cleat right there. That's pretty cool. So that's coming home with me. And uh, so right down there, about I don't know, 50 yards or so was where I found a bunch of the square nails. There's the little gully I was telling you about, so we're actually just right up off of it. You know, I would think if that were the old stagecoach line right there, this would be in it, but uh, I'm gonna keep on searching. We're about, I don't know, I'd say almost a mile from the truck now up through the woods, so a little ways to go to get back. So I'm gonna search a little bit more, see what I can find, probably jump down in that little gully a little bit. All right, had another iron signal right here, about a foot deep. And this is down into some clay right here, but I finally got down to the edge something. Went down in there. Little chunk of iron. I don't know what it is, but it was down in there a little ways. That's definitely it. looks like maybe part of a leaf spring one of the old steel leaf springs maybe i don't know now leave me a comment let me know what you think it is doesn't appear to be sharpened it's just a point i'll get that home clean it up see if there's anything on it i'm gonna get back to swinging that metal detector and see if i can find anything else all right on my next target here you see I'm right there on it and I'm uh, right in the middle of this little gully here I was telling you about about a quarter mile from my last little dug spot and you can see I've got here another piece of a horseshoe looks like it was a pretty good size horseshoe yeah no. let's see what else I can find over here all right, I just dug up shell casing over here just a second ago. I happened to look down and I'm not sure if you can see it because there's a little bit of a shadow on it. That's a funny looking rock. And the funny thing is, that looks like the end of a joint. So I don't know if that may be a bone. It's definitely rock. Yeah, it's definitely rock. I can't tell if that's... Hmm. Oh yeah, it's just a rock. I don't think it's petrified bone. Yeah, I could probably find it pretty easily. I'll just leave it right there. If you guys think it is one, throw me a comment. That looks like a piece of... Hmm. That's a little fossil right there, so that's probably probably not a petrified bone. Who knows? If you guys think it is, let me know. I can probably find it pretty easy. I'll come back and get it. Alright, I'm on my next spot right here and pick that dude up. Another piece of horseshoe. Alright. On my next target here. It's a pretty good sized target there. Look at that. That is a pocket knife. Still open. Still has the handles on it. That's a beauty right there. Huh. 
Huh. That is pretty neat. It looks like plastic. Wouldn't have any idea how to tell how old that is, but... Hmm. Cool. Well, that one's coming home with me. All right, on to the next target. All right, so uh, getting about to the end of the day right here. Uh, you can tell the sun's down below the horizon right now. It's getting kind of dark. What I've run into is that this, what started out as one ravine coming up the mountain and it split, and then each of those split. So now I've got six little ravines coming up this mountain. The funny thing is I'm, I'm not finding anything metal in between them, but every single one of these has got just pieces and odds and ends and pieces of metal and pieces of horseshoes. I, I have, uh, I don't know, three or four or five pieces, just half horseshoes and stuff. When I'm still got the nails in it, I found some square nails, some regular nails, some pieces of wire. But it's all down in the ravines and not up on top. So I think what's happened is, is that as these got eroded out pretty bad back in the old days, you know, they'd start going out around it, right? So everywhere it was getting bad, they'd just start a new road around. So I've got, I don't know if you can see on the other side of that moss, I think there's one, two, three four, five. I think there was one more over that way that's kind of on the other side of the hill. So, um, yeah, so I'm finding metal down inside each one of these and not really much on the, on kind of the hump in between. So I'm thinking that's kind of what, what's going on here. So it's getting pretty late and I'm running out of daylight and I'm running out of time. Um, battery's just about dead. So I think I'm going to head to the truck. I've got about a mile and a half, two mile hike that way. And uh, tomorrow when I get some daylight, I'm going to lay everything out on the back of the truck and show you what I found. All right, it's been a few days since I went out and did the metal detecting. It got dark on me and my battery ran pretty low uh, before I could get all this uh, wrapped up. But I wanted to show you, you can see the stuff here behind me. That is all stuff I found uh, out there metal detecting. So I'd say it's uh, pretty likely that that was a wagon trail or stagecoach line or something uh, just because of all the horseshoes and stuff I found. I'll get you a little bit of closer look. So you can see all these horseshoes and stuff. And these are all pieces of horseshoes, so broken horseshoes. And, uh, and this is in within like a mile and a half stretch or so. And I also had that old pocket knife. I'm pretty sure that's going to be like before the 70s, but I know that uh, there's some evidence of hunting back in there. Um, you know, there's shell casings and stuff, so I mean, it's entirely possible that this was lost uh, well after that. And that says camper on that little shield right there. Yeah, camper. So I'll research that a little bit, but you know, you can see some of these shell casings. There's 30 30. That's a 308. Here's a bunch of old barbed wire. And this is like single strand with stamped barbs. You can kind of see that right there. Found some square nails. You can see those right there. It's some kind of a... I don't know if you'd call it... A, furniture tack it's got a funny looking head on it yeah just kind of lots of odd and end stuff I think it's a piece of a plow busted and of course there's no nasty deer head found him dead out there so yeah just lots of different stuff all right so I hope you've enjoyed my video uh, if you would please like and subscribe if you haven't already uh, check out my other videos of uh, diamond mining. Uh, normally that's all I post, but uh, since they're closed right now, I uh, didn't get any of that done this weekend. I've got some videos I'm still working on to get put up. So uh, anyhow, thank you for watching.